What is going on everyone? My name's Boyd and I'm back with some more Age of Mythology, the Titans action spawning in the sky blue color. Playing as Thor, his name is Al. In the purple color, playing as Loki. Wait, no, this is blue. In the blue color, wait, no, it is purple. It looks blue, but it's purple. In the purple color, playing as Loki as well, it's Socrates. In the red color, playing as Gaia, it's Mariano. In the blue color, playing as Kronos, his name is Joey Bads in the yellow color. Playing as uh, Poseidon, his name is Gladiator Hero. In the orange color, very rare, it's Tunison playing as Poseidon. And in the green color, playing as Kronos, his name is Killuminati. And we are free for all. Regicide, Nomad, King of the Hill. This is the new thing. Thank, big props to Joey Bads for um, making this one for me. It's an absolute legend. Uh, of course, it's a little bit hacky, so to speak, at the moment. But uh, I'm excited to see how it's all going to work. Now, there are a couple of bugs to, to iron out here. Namely, if a king dies... Um, by while it's garrisoned which is possible um it will not give the points so we have to ensure that that doesn't happen somehow also the king of the hill isn't meant to end the game unless there's two players left so we're kind of playing around that at the moment and just saying it's fine for now um but what's meant to happen is the king of the hill in the end when, when it's completely finished the the plenty vault is supposed to um give you a point. A point is killing off a king uh, or, or, or holding the plenty vault. And in the end, the player with the most, the highest score um, will be the victor. Uh, and also, if you're holding the plenty vault with only two players left, then the original victory condition um, starts. Well, we'll see how the game's going to go as everyone's getting themselves sorted out. We've got the, the docks over here, docks over on the bottom. Man, Socrates gets pretty lucky on this bottom side with um, Al not going for the water just yet. He's got all those old sarks ready to come down to the bottom to drop the docks down. But um, yeah, Socrates are a little bit lucky at the moment to have the majority of the water here uh, at the bottom. Well, we'll see how things are going to go. We do have uh, Joey Bads on this spot here. Has the plenty vault helping him out. Has the score. Has the fish. He does see that um, Gladiator here is over here as his citizen is wandering forward. Got to be a little bit more careful there. Uh, he has picked up a relic, got the Thundercloud Shawl with uh, human soldiers more resistant to pierce attacks there. I assume the ceasefire is still going to cause recorded games or do you implement it in a different way? I don't know. Yeah, it is nice that everyone can grab relics at the start of the game. It is even. One thing that um, Age Mythology is not the nicest about is having um, even stuff. Well, Illuminati thought about Leto for a second, but then decided against his better judgment to cancel that and go Prometheus. Illuminati going for the center straight away. This is a risky move. Let's see if it's going to pay off. There's Joey Bads. What is he doing? He's in a tough spot here. The uh, the village is chasing. What are you doing, Joey? Joey, you don't need to go this way. Run away. Oh, Katoska boss taken out. Citizens pulling away. Oh. Run for it, Joey. That's not over here. That's everything. Mariana with a whoo. Pretty fast advance time. Oh, nice snipe there from Joey. The micro. Look at the moves. Yes, Joey. Oh. Run for it. I think Joey's going to get targeted down pretty quickly here from Gladiator Hero in this one. See if he can survive or not. As the uh, 
classical ages are coming in. Advancing late is fairly standard on these sorts of maps, but um, with Cluminati advancing so fast, he's going to have access to this Plenty Vault, which is going to help out his economy a little bit. Mariano getting himself a second town center. He is... Is he in the second age? Yes, he's gone through... Um, oh, I like this. He's gone through Oceanus. Oceanus is significantly better than um, Leto for the late game. One, you've got the healing from the Cladra. It doesn't really help in the late game that much. But you get access to uh, the upgrade Bite of the Shark, as well as your Catapulties upgrade Weighted Mace, I think is what it's called. I've never seen it upgraded, but it is very, very useful. There's Tunis. And, woof. Tunis, that's one very spicy king movement right there. There is a spicy king wandering through here. Will Gluminati be able to stop this one as he retreats up to this position over here? Do we see any archer ships coming out? No. No archer ships just yet. Last game, we didn't see anyone go after the water either. I think it's definitely worthwhile holding onto that water. If you win the water by yourself, for the, uh, or if at least you force some ships out, then you can decide to do something else. But if your opponent decides not to fight back, you can just take the entirety of the water for yourself there. As Gluminati comes through, takes the plenty vault. Drags those Hades shades away. Happy days. Okay, multi-tech researching does not give a score bonus. Damn it. What if you make a new tech, but it's just worth tons of resources? But, like, you know what I mean? If you research a tech that's worth a ton of resources, you... Get that one, should put, put the score up. Right? No? So we're seeing the players fighting over here. Are we seeing anything happening from Gladiator here on this spot? Super late advance time from him. Joey Bads here, he needs to think about attacking and taking this out. If he can kill off Gladiator here really early, he gets the entirety of this top corner to himself here. Head of Orpheus coming in. Joey Bads is on top of those relics nicely. <coughs> As he does hit the the uh, classical the seven the, the standard seven minute fifty fifty eight second classical age here from uh, from these players. Oh. Socrates still going for the uh, the wall shenanigans. So Al comes in with his troll. <laughs> Lovely. Oh. Cluminati's uh, Chromos Down Center has been spotted by Al. And Al is happily eating this, uh, this rhino right underneath this face here. There's an interesting idea here of just ragging the middle and just leaving all of your rag heroes in the middle for eight minutes. Seems pretty crazy, but it might work. The Akrat cannot hide in anything, is the idea. I think he should be able to hide in a castle. Not in the town center, just in a castle. So you can hide him like that. A bit of an attack coming through for Socrates. Doesn't want to allow Mariano to be big in this game. Mariano pulling back. He's got to keep all of his villagers nice and safe over here. He hasn't gotten any fish in this game either. He's getting this town center up over on this spot, but there's a lot of Socrates units out causing a lot of problems here. Where's Socrates' king at the moment is the big question. Oh. I like that spot. That's an interesting spot. If you get spotted, though, you're going to uh, you're going to be uh, hard-pressed to retreat away. Manly and statue here as well. Definitely worth picking up. As we see now, Joey Bads. Ready to put the pressure onto Gladiator Hero. Gladiator Hero's got nothing left. He's going for a town center. He does have ceasefire. A little undermine to just finish this one off. And Mariano is, uh, well, he's going to have to figure out how to defend this. Another Ideas born is huge. 
for Socrates right now. And Socrates hasn't even thought about a town and yet. Going to be able to snipe that citizen. Mariner pulling back into his base. He's got walls set up. He's got Cairo Ballasters set up. Maybe some towers or something like that wouldn't go astray. Kliminati now, though. He's he's spreading around this um, this plenty vault. He wants to put buildings all around here, it seems. Time shifting onto the spot here as well. This is pretty scary. If he gets that set up, it's going to be tough. Uh, but there is Al eyeing this one off. He's got a lot of town centers up here. Do you see the fishing ships scouting around for Joey Bads over here as he's putting pressure onto this spot. Tunison is joining in on the party as well with a handful of units. Oh, he finds the Theocrat. He finds he's going straight after that one. The Theocrat is... Gladiator breathes here. <laughs> Cease fire down. He all, his life flashes before his eyes. As the Theocrat lives, Gladiator pulls away. Oh dear. Almost out straight away in the second game again. Oh dear. Mariana going to try and get a town center up on this spot. I feel like the old guy should be a bit faster. I feel like you should be able to research a technology inside of the Theocrat for X amount of resources to improve the Theocrat's stats. Should make a whole bunch of new technologies for him. Oh, I like this wall. He will get caught out on this spot. If this gets noticed, you could send a, an archer ship in here to snipe that one. There's not going to be any way to retreat away. So very dangerous if he gets spotted or not as um, Tunison and, Gla and Joey Vads are teaming up right now on this position here. I don't think they've said anything to each other just yet as the village is going to be retreating away. Tunison is just literally searching. He's literally searching for this. Where, Where is the king? There is no king. Walking woods as well for Socrates. And he's trying to break through Mariano. He wants to take Mariano out of this game. He does not want to deal with him here. Mariano winning the last game. He becomes a target in this one. As we see some Hero Mamillo coming through. No bite of the shark just yet for uh, Mariano. He does have himself uh, access to a carnivora plant, which might help him on the defense here. Gonna try and break through. We do see the uh, the heroes checking out on this spot. It looks like Joey has seen what's going on in this corner as the walls getting taken down. The, the gladiator here can uh, the aircraft can retreat out the other side here though, as some villagers getting taken down on this spot as well. Can he get in there or not? As this uh, position over here getting taken out, but Illuminati, he's holding the uh, plenty vault. He's got the he's got the walls set up, the buildings set up. He just needs to. This military barracks not in the best of positions here. No one's attacking this spot just yet. And Kaluminati is full tryharding to win this center. Is there any way to get in here quickly? There's no shifting sands. There is a potential for... Uh, no, there is no underworld either. As Mariano here, it looks like he's defended. He does lose the town center. But Mariano defends. Oh, she pushes in. Where's the Theocrat gone? Over onto this spot. Build. Build a... Build... Where's the dock? For he, he doesn't have one. Build a ship. Where's he going? He's searching. He's searching. He sees it. Well, no, he doesn't. It's over here. Glad <laughs> here. Going to try and pull back into a different spot there to keep that one alive. Hell coming through now for Socrates. He's racing through the ages here. Two minutes and 50 seconds left on this position here. I'm sure that Al is going to be uh, trying to break through here, but how much army does he actually have? Not a whole lot. He's got to push through a lot of what Kluminati's got here. I think there is maybe a gap on this spot. Maybe. The Kluminati can take this win very, very quickly here. He's going for it. He's got all the buildings spread out. Let's see what his population is looking at. He's at full population as well. This chaos gets dropped over here. Where's the king gone? It's back over here. Two minutes remaining. Two minutes remaining. Come on, guys. Don't let him win in 15 minutes or 16 minutes here. <laughs> Another town center coming up on this spot here for Cluminati as the uh, fighting still continuing here. 
Lula just getting sniped down. Gladiator here is in a very tough position. There is a transport ship here for Gladiator here. Attempting... Wait, where's the... I don't know where he's put him. Oh, he's back over here. <laughs> Tear coming through. Anyone got to go from mid too, too far? <laughs> <laughs> no chance you died today. <laughs> You're in my way, Tudison. Guys, kill the mid. No. <laughs> oh, okay. There we go. He sticks through. Fantastic. It's fine. It's fine. We live for another day. <laughs> you could put walls around this as well if you really want to play um, naughty. But now, now uh, Joey Bads is under attack. Oh, Theocrat. He gets spotted. Tunis and Caesar. He is paying attention here. He sees the Theocrat. He has been... Uh, he has been blocked in onto this position. Toxone is coming through onto this location. The Theocrat trying to retreat away. And Joey Bads has lost his Theocrat. And Tunison is now in front, ladies and gentlemen. He is the one with the points. He is in front, in the lead. Um, Joey Bads loses everything here. Gladiator here are going to be able to survive a little longer. Uh, Socrates pushing through. Going to be searching for that Theocrat. In the top corner, Fimble Winter getting cast down. We've got to take a look at where these spawns, because I missed this in the last game. Where is the uh, the spawns here? We do have a, uh, a Fimble Winter over here. The Theocrat is... I don't know where Theocrat is for Tunison at this moment. There he is down in the bottom corner. Uh, so they're, they're playing with fate here on the shore. You can very quickly lose everything there. Gladiator here are coming through. We do see the Heliopolis starting to move forward. And Mariano is getting absolutely erased here in this game, though, as it looks like Socrates... Whoop, Stymphalian Birds. Could go for some snipes onto some here, onto some uh, Theocrats here with the Stymphalian Birds. We'll see if he can find something. Uh, utilizing Caladria to scout and then sending that um, those Stymphalian Birds around to get the kills. That's an interesting idea. Uh, we do see... Oh, 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 oh. Mariano sees it. But it's retreating back. He's not going to be able to get that kill. Theocrat gets away there. Stays alive. Curse getting utilized onto this position. Village is getting sniped down over here. We do see the Ursa for Al. Still trying to push through onto this position here. He's got a lot of units out. He can start taking down towns and just get himself Ballister and everything else. There's the portable ram coming out on this position as well. That's the Nereid in here for Kluminati. I mean, there is still this cheeky Theocrat. 44 HP remaining. Who's going to get that kill there? As the town sent up, starting to get taken down. Helios coming through here for Kluminati as well. He's going to be able to start teleporting on to Theocrats here. You have to start being concerned with where you're placing this. This is a very, very easy to snipe uh, uh, Theocrat there. But who's going to know? Who's going to know? More towers coming up to block in the, uh, the chances to get through here. Uh, we'll see if uh, it's going to matter at all because I think there's only five minutes remaining and Al is getting pretty big here to push through here as well. So he's going to be a, a tough one to deal with that. Mariano sneaking through onto this position. Zero towns in his remaining. He's always a very sneaky player to stay alive and he's he's kept that. <laughs> I love this idea. The, the Theocrat in the top corner here. Who's going to check up there? Why would the Theocrat be there? Clearly hiding that one up in that spot there is now Gladiator here getting targeted out. The Kluminati Nereid might see... Oh, it's a fake. It's a fake one. Uh, but Theocrat's over here. We'll see if he can get in there or not. Obviously, Mariano knows this. That's the... Uh, oh, this... The, uh, the Stymphalian birds spot the Theocrat, but it's not enough. The defenses are in. He does die very quickly there. Tunis and Click ceasefire. Oh! Oh! Oh, he gets the surround. Can he get the surround for a minute here? Box formation. Box formation. That's the secret. Walls coming up. Walls coming up here for Tudison. As Gladiator Hero trying to take out the Theocrat on this spot. Can he make it happen? He is trying his best to path block this uh, this Theocrat. Tudison is trying as well. As this is going to be very, very close here on this one. 
can he get this as he's dropping the uh the 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 uh what's it called spread formation into line formation here oh and tunison dives into the transport ship i'm not sure that one's supposed to be possible here <laughs> Do you, if you kill, yeah, uh, I'm not sure, sure you're supposed to be able to do that. Because <laughs> you don't get a, uh, if no rock, then no transfer ship, yeah. We still got some bu some bugs to iron out here. Um, let me send a message over to uh, the Tudison that, well, Joey, you send a message to Tudison, tell him, oh, implode, implode, will this kill it off? No. No. Theocrat too strong. Towers don't work. Oh, but the but the um the Nareen is really close and he snipes it with the Nareen! He snipes it with the Nareen! And Gladiator Hero is taken out! That was huge! That was huge! Oh, and Illuminati now has the center hold, but the portable rams coming through here. Socrates, where's Mariano's hero? Where is it? It's hiding. It's sneaky up on the top here. Frost being used by Owl as he's trying to break through all of this stuff here with all the portable rams. Illuminati's up on the top here, my friend. Socrates, you've got to be searching. Oh, the, the Nidhogg is in as well. He is searching around here. Will he spot it? Here, yeah, Socrates, I'm in the center. <laughs> Can he spot? Oh, he just misses it. He just misses it. Oh, he's so close. So close. But Al gets the plenty vault back, resets the timer. We're going to be continuing along in this game. As the counter is getting taken out, Socrates here. Um, you've got to, yeah, yeah. Tudison, he's, he's going to have to leave that theocrat there alive. What are the scores? Well, I mean, if you've only just joined now, the scores indicate what, um, what, how many kings you've killed. So if you've got this much score, you're, you've got one kill. It's it's how you rank who's uh, um, who's winning in the game or who who's got the points in the game. Because just just being last alive in this version of uh, of um in this version in this in this game mode there's not enough to win the game you've got to uh you got to get the king kills as well so even if you've got no no stuff remaining you can still get that you can still get that king uh that that win here if you just snipe the kings there's the portable rams coming through here I'm gonna try and bring champion carabals you don't see this very very often I have to, yeah, obviously, Kaluminati has the sickest play here. Ah! <laughs> oh, ah! Oh, ah! Oh, Mariano is being spotted and he's got no way to run. Oh, no. <laughs> Stream snipe from Mariano. Here's the Socrates. Units come through, snipes the hero, and he's gone. He's gone. <laughs> Mariano out. Socrates now. With his first kill. Where's where's Tunison? Oh, sorry, no, not not Tunison. Where's Kaluminati's hero? I don't see him anywhere. The units piled in here for Tudis, and everyone can brewing in onto the middle here to try and take Illuminati out. Illuminati's got so much stuff here. He's got all the upgrades for his buildings, and he's going to attempt to hold on this position. Socrates here also has to push through and like take out all of these um, buildings of uh, and everything else. Take these. We do see Tunis and he's spread sp sprawled across sprawled across the map. You actually make a trade route here as well. What is he? He's got a trade route. He's got all the economy he needs at the moment to support whatever he wants to produce. So Tunison's the big one at the moment, but he does have his Theocrat in a pretty um, spicy position over here. That's the problem. He can get sniped out on this spot here. As Al says, kill you, please. <laughs> kill Tunison. <laughs> 
<laughs> Will they be able to? That's the big question. <laughs> See, yes, 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 yes. Kill me. The Socrates is also relatively big here as well. That's the thing. Jensen's got to get his walls set up though, that's the thing. He's got to really um, lay claim to the entirety of his map. That's the tough part. While while still pushing. Illuminati's still holding on to this plenty vault over here. Four minutes, 20 seconds remaining. And, and he's got an owl on his team right now to push back. So there's this world where if owl doesn't work out, that he actually has to kill Illuminati to keep the game going. Illuminati might be able to steal a win here. Yeah, I think what we need to do, Corona JJ, you're right. We, we need to get technologies. What is this? We need to get technologies inside of the king to improve his stats. Things like ability to garrison inside a castle, unlock. Ability to, I don't know if it's possible though, to make that happen. Ability to uh, get more HP, more speed, those sort of upgrades, or like something like that inside of the king is going to be a. Uh, <laughs> what is this? It kind of looks cool. I think it all dies in one go though if you attack it. You can VC him into a different proto that can garrison. There you go. But even just like upgrading stats, having text to upgrade stats is a great way to go as well. Nidhogg flying around. Will Socrates find the king? He's going to be searching for it. Up, oh, up, oh, up! Oh, he sneaks in! He sneaks in! Alright. Clunati has not won yet again. He's been stopped. He's been thwarted. I see Nidhogg is searching around. The only way to beat Tunis in here at the moment is going to be sniping the king. That's got to be the only way. Get some archer ships, get, get it on that back corner there. Tunis has got the entirety of the land to run that king to though, so he can run it basically everywhere. No low VO. Can he see me? I don't know. Hillfort getting taken down on this spot as well. There's a villagers coming through to put the town center up there. Villagers with... Oh. Socrates' is, uh, dwarves getting caught out of position there in a big way. Do we see any attempt at seed ships? Not just yet. Socrates is so big at... Not Socrates. Tunison is so big at the moment. Where'd the Nidhogg go? Did he get taken out? Maybe he did. Oh, flying over here. We're searching around. <gasps> Don't attack anything. You've given away. He's searching. Will he find it? Where are the other remaining ones? We've got um, Owl on this spot here. Uh, we've got Socrates over here. I don't know where Kaluminati's is. I've got no idea. Wait, we've got to watch this. Whoop, 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 whoop. Oh, Theocrat's running. Okay, Theocrat's run. He's moved. He's over here now. Okay, safe. Safe and sound. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure where the green Theocrat is. If anyone can spot me a green dot for wherever Kaluminati is, I'll give you a, a thumbs up. Green is hidden so well, yeah. Kill you don't have king or what? I can't find it. Yeah, I can't find it either. Where is it?
Nope, Tower's coming up just to ensure that this king stays alive here. The problem is, what is Tunison actually doing? He's trying to take out Socrates here, where I think that Kilimanati is the bigger threat. Behind a tree or something. Fire ships. Mark it. I see no no possible spots he can be in. Let me just check all the green over here. No. Oh. No, that's just a heavy barine. Where is it? We see a, 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 a thing. No. <sighs> Kaluminati. This is the problem with these competitive players. They're going to find every little thing they can. Every little thing they can. This is, this is cute. <laughs> but Tunison is going to be absolutely rampaging this spot. Someone's computer is not able to handle Asian mythology here. Uh, there's a reason why Age of Mythology... Um, there's a reason why Age of Mythology is... Has a population limit. And that's because there's just... It's just like computers can't handle it. You have to have a decent computer to handle 300 population. And that's just how many units are in here. Right here. No honor. Illuminati needs like uh, fire siphons here to deal with these Heliopoli. Can. Ow, corner! The corners are the places where, where, where would you hide in a transport ship if not in a corner? Illuminati here. I'm not sure he's going to be able to survive here. There's a crazy amount of lag going on there. Yeah, if Socrates sends his ship to the bottom, he will, um, he will be in front. Ship spotted. Looks like King's still over here. Yep, still hanging out on this spot here. I think Wanda should just end the game. No score bump. Yeah, that's true. Wanda should just end the game. 100%. Because if you got this position where there's like four people left and there's just like a, a deadlock of sorts. And but one person is up by like two king kills, they can just put a wonder down, end the game, and win. I think that's a good idea. Need hog searching around. Will he find it? Thunison has the center though. So even if Socrates kills Kuluminati here, I, I imagine Tunison's gonna be able to kill off uh, Socrates and Owl pretty quickly.
He's veering away. Sometimes it's hard to tell. Corner of the map. You can only bet. You can't see a dot there. You can just see a little barely, barely a bit of um. Uh, barely a bit of line of sight. Oh, oh, wonder down for Kilimanjaro now. <laughs> you can totally go for that for sure. Dun 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 We do see a uh, cheeky little skied dragon ship gonna come through. I love the Kraken! Is this where the upgrade? No. This kind of looks sick though. I don't know why. He's got a shine to him. I don't know what the shine is about, but he's got a shine to him. I think Turnus and already won. You can always lose. You can always lose a Theocrat. Track our ship. Up! Oh. Up! Oh. Oh. Oh! The, the transport ship is fast, though. It can run. Oh, he's running! He's found it! He's off! He's off! He's off! He's off! <laughs> he's making the run for it now! Run for it, Marty! Is there a, there's a Kraken! Get the Kraken over there! Quick! 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 The Kraken is coming! The Kraken is coming! Illuminati is running! But he's running straight into Tunison! He's running straight into Tunison's head! He's got guard towers! He's got fortress! He's got everything! And the Kraken is coming! The Kraken is coming! The Kraken is coming! He's gonna... The, t the tower! He's got crenellations! He's taking damage! The Kraken's gonna catch up! It's 5.33 speed versus 6.0 speed! Nothing else matters in this game! The transport ship coming to the shore! Is is he going to get out? He is going to get out, the, but this dragon ship's can't hit it. And the transport ship is taken down. Theocrat runs. He runs. He takes a little bit of a hit there from the dragon ship. But Illuminati's Theocrat, his life flashes before his eyes and he survives. He survives. But now Turnison, he's well and truly has the advantage there in the center of the map. And that Nidhogg is going to be well and truly chasing him. Illuminati. What can he do now? Because Tunison is going to be after him as well. Tunison, oh, oh, we also see Owl getting taken down on this spot. Is the uh, king still in that same spot? Yes, it is. Lots and lots of towers trying to defend the king on that spot there as well. I wonder if Kaluminati is going to go for another thing. Oh, lots of palaces here. You can surround the... Uh, the king here at the palaces. <laughs> yeah, I like that. That's Turnison. I mean, Turnison has to kill another king. Before. Well, he doesn't have to. He wins if he holds that king of the hill. Because he's got one, one point. But he could definitely give himself a, a, basically a guaranteed win if he kills off two kings here. As we do see the, uh, the Nidhogg getting chased in here as the, the villagers put in the walls. <laughs> <laughs> like, can he get in here? I think he can get in through this way, maybe. I'm not 100% sure. How many walls do you want to put up there? <laughs> okay, three minutes, 30 seconds left on that, on that spot there. What's... What's Socrates doing is the big question. What Socrates doing is the big question. Not sure. Down center going down. Tunison gonna be trying to take this one out. Tunison kind of knows he doesn't need to hold this spot, but he doesn't need to push because he's got the plenty vault. But he doesn't have anything around here, so the players are gonna try and rush stuff in there. I assume. Dragon ship coming back over here. Going to try and take out this position here. Uh, the king is still just hanging out on this spot. Could go for a landing party and go for a, a an attack on this one. Obviously, you have to know where the king is. Maybe Socrates could go for... Wait, let me have a look at him. Maybe Socrates could go for, for um, Omniscience at the moment. 
Can't be that expensive, right? 50k, it's that expensive. <laughs> Ran to crack, crack it in the middle. <laughs> okay. Uh... What about region omniscience as an upgrade? I think that would be cool. 100%, yeah. If it's possible. Any sort of extra upgrades on the um, on the king would be cool. Anything you can think of, just add it in. Just make them more visible at 30 minutes. Yeah, maybe that's a good idea as well. Oh, Al's going to say, no, 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 we're not doing this. Everyone attack. Well, how many units are here, though? Al's going to try. He might have more. No, I don't think he has enough. He does not have enough. Tunis has got 10... He's got 300 population of units here. Where'd the king go? Does Kaluminati run his king again? Doesn't matter, Tunis, and holds the spot. Has he run the king? Where is it? It's not in there. Attack now. Attack now. Attack now. Go to the hill. Attack now. How much population do they have? Three, two, four. They probably have enough to win on the middle there. Constructing is stable. Where's Socrates King? I mean, kill him. Oh, there he is. Come. Right there. Uh, it looks like Tunison here is going to be finishing this game off here by holding the Plenty Vault. 20 seconds remaining. I don't see any attempt from uh, Purple or from Green to push in here. And he just has so many units. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, Kaluminati's going to rush! Okay, too slow. Saving Sigara. Wonderful. Good. That's what we wanted to see there. <laughs> All right. GG. Well played. That was fun. Good, clean fun. If you guys enjoyed it, hit the follow button. Hit the subscribe button. Leave a comment. See you in the next one.